have a look at the teams. Revolution 2 on the left, captain by Roger Webb. 4 on the right, captain Jason Marston. And there on the left-hand side, Judge Shred, two and a half, Captain Alan Blakeman and Anarchy, Captain Mike Franklin. And his daughter Amy there, she's now ten, she's back again. So is Matilda in the arena for the House Robots and Dead Metal 2. Three, two, one, debate. Intrigued to see the weaponry of Revolution 2 here at its finest, immediately coming crumpling down onto the top of Judge Shred, two and a half with the multiple body panels. There's Thor swapping blows with Anarchy. Thor also has the pincers, as well as the, the hammer. It has the team with the blonde wigs. We also have Judge Shred two and a half uh, with the judges wigs. Don't get the two confused. There's Revolution 2, confusing things in a bit of a muddle and a melee. Judge Shred takes a blow there from Thor. <laughs> Their team, great fun. Also, Anarchy in there with a couple of blows, and they're all having a go at the judge. There, the spinning, motivating weapons of Revolution 2 at 200 miles an hour, top speed, that flailing weaponry. Looks a little bit lightweight in body, though, if someone can get hold and flick it out. Thor almost rocking and rolling from Judge Shred's flipper, but down comes the hammer. Stroke axe again, that's Anarchy in trouble in the flame pit, but turning away, the walker, ponderous, but nonetheless effective. Thor moves back to get the axe down. Judge Shred two and a half is there in the front of all this. Now, did you see a little flick on Revolution 2? And it was very easily flicked up in the air, I felt. Thor has a bent pincer at the front, but down comes the mighty Thor axe hammer once again. This is very even. Very, very even at the moment. Blows are being traded. What's happened here? Trump shed two and a half against the inner side wall, and I wonder, in attacking it, has Revolution 2 immobilised itself? Dead Metal comes out with the sword blade. The spark's beginning to fly. And that armament of Revolution 2, as we heard from Roger Webb and Gordon Anderson, not its strong point. Oh, meanwhile, Judge Shred has been flicked by Anarchy! The top of your picture! Can the judge right itself now? Thor is in attendance. They bash down using the SRI mech, the self-riding mechanism. But it hasn't been a great display by Judge Shred 2 and a half. They fought in Robot Wars Series 4 and in Series 3. They were knocked out of the heats both times. And that was a good attack by Anarchy, a brilliantly designed robot by Mike Franklin, once built a hydrojet-powered surfboard. If you look through the innards there, you can see eight legs independently walking, but barely a wobble in the movement of Anarchy. It's the first time we've seen a walker in the history of Robot Wars so balanced. I think Revolution 2 is buckling, don't you? It looks in trouble, and it seems to have pinned itself there on the arena floor. Thor inadvertently is released. Judge Shred tries to flick Anarchy, but there you can get a sense of the weight of Anarchy. 170 kilos around about. Revolution, to me, has been immobilised. They're in trouble, Roger and Gordon, and they're being counted. Now, that's a shame, because it was innovative and good fun. But in the end, to get the great weaponry in, uh, it was out of kilter, wasn't it? Out of balance for Robot Wars, and they're out. Revolution 2. So, one of the remaining three will join them out. Cease. Two go through, and the judges will have to decide now. Will it be Thor? Will it be Anarchy? We know Revolution 2 have gone. Judge Shred 2.5, depending on a judge's results.